Hey, hello, what's up? And yes, that's right. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, set up and use Steam Link on the Quest. This application lets you play PC VR games over a wireless connection and stream them straight to your headset. After following this uh, super easy guide, you will be able to jump into the best experiences out there, such as Half-Life Alyx, Vertigo, Boneworks and oh, many more. I hope you're ready. Trust me, this is the quickest and friendliest tutorial you will find on YouTube that works with all Quest headsets. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Because to be able to use Steam Link, you need three things. One, a VR ready laptop or computer. Two, a decent router. And three, a Quest headset. The computer or laptop you are planning to use needs to be fast enough to power PC VR games. To figure out if it is actually VR ready, you can check Valve's official support page, which not only shows the recommended, but also minimum requirements needed to run Steam Link. On top of that, it also gives you a few handy tips on the do's and don'ts of this new Link software. You can find the page in the video's description. That said, for most, a regular router will do the trick. But if you happen to own a gaming one, then that's of course a bonus. Either way, make sure it's directly hooked up to your computer or laptop via a Ethernet cable to ensure maximum performance while playing the best of the best VR content. A big no-no is definitely using Wi-Fi mesh systems, because these can really screw up your overall VR experience, causing lots of instability and so much more. It's totally up to you, but I do want to make sure you're aware of the risks. Last, you need a Quest headset that uses the same Wi-Fi address as your PC or laptop and has the latest firmware installed. This can prevent so many problems later down the road, so double check if everything is really ready to go. So with that out of the way, let's move on to setting up Steam Link, shall we? First of all, what you want to do is open your favorite browser to download Steam, which you'll need to run PC VR games. There's a link down below that will take you straight to the official website where you can download it. The install process shouldn't take too long, but make sure you have enough free space for the best possible outcome. And you also need to log in. I recommend scanning the QR code with the Steam mobile app for the quickest way in. Thank me later. Once arrived in the Steam store, go to the search bar and look for Steam VR. This program doesn't cost you anything and will assist you in streaming the most amazing VR games to your headset. But hey, more on that later. After you finish downloading it, it's time to grab your Quest and boot it on. When it's booted, hit up the official store and start searching for Steam Link. Let's say you can't find it. Don't worry, I got you. I added a link to the description as well that will instantly take you to the app. Hit the download button in the bottom right corner and give it a moment to install. Once ready, click on get started and let it scan for your computer or laptop. If you followed my steps uh, correctly, it should appear in just a few seconds alongside a shiny green connect button. Activate it and don't forget to allow all permissions. This is so important. It will then give you a four digit code that you have to fill in on desktop. So use the headsets uh, pass through or take it off to type in your personal catchphrase on Steam and click on confirm. Go back to the quest and you should now see Steam Link initiating a connection between the headset and your computer or laptop. Congratulations! Before you know it, you are being transported to Steam VR and you can start playing all the goodness the platform has to offer. Games I can recommend are Half-Life Alyx, Vertigo 2, Skyrim, Microsoft Flight Simulator, Star Wars Squadrons, Project Cars, Wanderer, VR Chat, Boneworks, The Lab. Oh, I could go on forever, there are so many fantastic titles. In general, Steam VR is being well maintained by Valve, resulting into some cool features, such as picking your own home environment and decorating it to your own taste. You can even invite your friends there, and the most awesome thing is that it has a desktop viewer that lets you play flat video games, watch movies, have background music on while playing VR titles, or simply browse the web without having to touch your desktop in real life. Oh, well Welcome to the future. So before we uh, wrap up this video, here are 12 tips and troubleshooting tricks that will get you the most out of Steam Link. Enjoy! 
The first is for when you run into stunners, artifacts or lag. You may want to look into the performance then, because in Steam VR you can click on the little headset icon to summon its settings. And you can start with uh, choosing your own frame rate, it goes all the way from 72 to 120, and besides that, you can also tweak the rendering resolution. For most, automatic will do the trick, but you may want to play around with this to see if things can be improved. Just don't go higher than 175% as larger values may result in a smaller foveated field of view. And then there is also the target bandwidth and encoded video size in case you want to dial things down even more. Next to that, there are some advanced settings too. You can simply unhide them by flipping the switch in the bottom left corner. And most interesting is having the option to turn off Steam VR Home, which has proven to gain you a few extra performance points here and there. So give it a try. A common issue that I myself have ran into multiple times is not having any audio. Ah, it's so annoying. This is something that can easily be fixed through the sound control panel in Windows. First, go to playback and enable the Steam streaming speakers. And in the recording tab, find the microphone and make that your main source. Restart Steam Link and your audio problems should be gone. Let's say you are mostly diving into high intensity experiences, chances are you've already had something out of excitement and I don't blame you. Next to wearing uh, wrist straps, it's also smart to have a reminder of where you are in your play space. Staying centered is key to keeping your TV, furniture, friends and pets alive. I would recommend looking into a yoga or floor mat like you have in the bathroom. Or what I'm using, a proxy mat, made specifically for intense VR sessions. So handy. If you're having struggles connecting your headset to Steam VR, it may help to dive into remote play. On desktop you can go to the settings and from there you should see it appear in the list. There are a few things you can do. First try to re-enable it. If that doesn't help then you can unpair your headset or worst case scenario do a clean installation. Oh yes, this might sound ridiculous, but there have been folks out there who found spiders in their headsets, with the most famous example being YouTuber Markiplier. As long as you don't live in City 17, I don't think you have to worry you're going to find one that will eat out your eyeballs, but I would still check every dark corner before putting it on. The next may sound like the most obvious tip ever, but keeping your graphics card, Quest and PC software up to date is super important to get the most out of Steam Link. So always check if everything is on the latest latest firmware. This is so important. If Steam Link acts weird in any way or your games refuse to start, it can help to close all applications that run in the background. I'm not kidding, apps that power your RGB keyboard or even protective firewalls can be the problem. Also, I found out that the quickest way to travel back to the main quest menu is by double tapping the side of the headset. This streamlines the overall use of Steam Link tremendously. Next to a wireless method, you also have the option to go fully wired. Personally, Steam Link has worked fine throughout the last few weeks I tested it, but for some, wired can give a much more stable play session. You can use Meta's fiber cable, made specifically for PC VR gaming, or go for a third party option. I will add my recommendations to the description, including cables that are USB-C to A. Want to play Oculus titles as well? Then I would recommend you watching my other guide that covers this in full detail. You can check the description for more information. If all of this didn't help and you are still having issues with Steam Link, it's best to hit up Steam Support or report your issues in Valve's community tab. This is a place where you can start a discussion with not only gamers but also the developers who work directly on Steam Link. And there you go my friends, that's how you play uh, PC VR games from Steam on your quest. I uh, hope you enjoyed uh, watching this video, I hope this guide was useful. If it was then make sure to uh, leave a comment on my Steam profile, that would be amazing, or here on YouTube to show your support. And that's it for me, until next time and uh, see you of course in glorious virtual reality. And watch out for headcrabs because they are freaking everywhere, oh yeah. Whew.